Yo, what is going on, everybody? Ryan Rich back for a brand new Atlanta Hawks My GM video. We are about, we are pretty early on in the season still. We are six and twelve at the moment. Lost three straight games, and we are looking to rebound. And we are probably going to simulate to about the end of December. Maybe we jump into that Grizzlies game as we do lose to the Celtics and the Raptors. Oh, that Raptors lost pretty bad. But then we upset the Cleveland Cavaliers, and we are getting offered Frank Kaminsky and Dwayne Bacon for John Collins and Legero Vic. We declined that offer. We beat the Trailblazers. We're on a little bit of a win streak now as we win three straight games. We beat the Suns. And then we fall to the Knicks, but then beat the Heat in a very close game. One point win, and then Avery Bradley with a Bruce Sternum. But uh, he's going to stay in the rotation as we beat the Magic. And Bradley's fine. We lose to the Nuggets. We beat the Magic again. About to play the Kings now as Tyreek Evans is fully healthy. If you remember in the last video, he got uh, pretty banged up. So now he is going to be back in the rotation. That's some good news. Glad to have him back. He does a lot for us, especially on offense. He can, he's like a secondary playmaker, especially when uh, Schroeder and him are out there together, which is very often um, because usually Evans is the starting shooting guard. So to have him back at this point where it seems like we're kind of middling the pack, I think that's uh, it's quite a good thing. So, Evans, I don't think we're going to start him just yet. We'll kind of leave it with Bradley in at the moment. Just for now, though. So, we'll see how it goes with this lineup just for a little bit. Costa, not going to lose any minutes. Don't worry about that. Still got to see much more of what he can do this season. Very excited. Trying to make sure all these minutes look okay to me. Actually, maybe we will start Evans. We just got to find a way to get him a little bit more minutes. So we'll take away some minutes from Ilyasova, who I still do have to edit his tendencies a little bit because, like I said in the previous video, he's taking more shots than I would like. So we'll get Evans up to 25. That sounds like a good amount, I think. Um, having Schroeder with 28. Yeah, 25. Collins has 25 too. It's not that big of a deal. And then Costa will also get 25 coming off the bench. Uh... Yeah, I think that's that, that looks good to me. So, yeah. This is the rotation we're going to go with for now. Um, we're going to give Schroeder a little bit of time to uh, really see if he can develop. I know some people have said that maybe we should just look for what we can get for him now. But um, I, th I think I'm pretty confident what Schroeder can do, at least for now. He's young. He's on the same trajectory as a lot of our other guys if they can all start to really develop and hit their strides. So as we continue simulation here, we get offered Lou Williams for Dennis Schroeder. Um, that's not really worth it to me as Lou Williams is a bit older. I'm not sure about his contract situation. But we did beat the Kings. We beat the Jazz. So a couple of away games left as we get offered Gerald Green and, like, a pick for John Collins obviously declined. A lot of teams want John Collins. Terry Rozier as we beat the Pacers. And we beat the Bucks. So right now we are on a five game win streak. Wow. That had to sh shoot us back up into playoff conversations. Beat the Magic. We beat the Pacers. Beat the Bucks. Three te teams in the East. And then we beat the Jazz. And the uh... What was that? I forget who the other team we beat was. Anyway, some of the stat lines here. DeAndre Ayton with a 10-8 and 8 game. Not too bad. Michael Porter Jr. drops 18 on the Magic. Colin Sexton, the rookie on their side, drops 19. 6 for 16 shooting. Not the best, but it could have been worse for him. Uh, here are the Nuggets as Costa lights up the Nuggets with 23 points. 18 of 12 shoot or 8 of 12 shooting, excuse me. John Collins, 8-10. Uh, DeAndre Ayton with 6-10. Tyson Chandler with 6-11. Nikola Jokic with 16-13. But it wasn't a losing effort. As the Hawks are still confused as to whether they want to tank or, uh, or uh, make the playoffs this year. Michael Porter Jr. with a 20-point game there. Hopefully making his case for the Rookie of the Year. Ersan Ilyasova puts up 11. Shooting nine shots. I'd like to get that down to about six. 
personally for Ilyasova, um, you know, three of those shots could be going to Schroeder, or Porter, or even uh, Acosta, who usually, unless we're playing the game, doesn't shoot more than about five to seven. Because he shot four of seven in that Magic game. And here are the Kings game. That was the team I forgot about. It's Tyreek Evans, a former King himself. 20 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 8 of 15 shooting. Dennis Schroeder, 6 of 12 with 19 points. DeAndre Aiden with 19 and 12. Costa drops 13 with 3 assists. Trey Burke, 13 and 6 off the bench for us. Tyson Chandler with 10 rebounds. Mike Porter Jr. with probably his worst game as a rookie so far. 2 of 14 shooting, not very good. Ilya Sova shoots 11 shots. He's always in that like 8 to 12 range of shots. And that's just not where he should be. He's not a starter. I don't understand how he even manages to get this many shots up. Gonna have to lower his uh, shot tendencies. As Bradley, a bunch of double digit scores in this game. Including Doug McDermott. 2 for 2 from the 3 point line. John Collins has a pretty rough game. At least points wise. 2 of 9. 15 rebounds, though. Uh, Tyson Chandler grabs 8 rebounds. Hazonia, he just hasn't been able to get going as an Atlanta Hawk, but at least we've tr we brought him in, you know. Um, but I, j I don't think it's working out with Hazonia. He hasn't really done anything for us thus far. Dennis Schroeder shoots 11 of 20. Pretty good for him. Drops 24 points. Michael Porter Jr. drops 14. The 4 of 12 is not very good. Elias Sova, see, 6 shots there. That's where I'd like to have him. Six shots a game. DeAndre Aiden, nine for 14. Um, the shitty drops uh, six against the Pacers. And here is the Bucks game. I think this might be might have been our biggest win. As Giannis does, again, go off on us. 22 and 10. Eight of 13 shooting. He has a good game. Um, for us, Dennis Schroeder drops 17. It was just a great team effort. Look at all these double-digit double scorers. 16-11 for Porter. Machidi drops 16. Great game by him. DeAndre Aiden with 14-10 and 10 on 6 of 9 shooting. Avery Bradley, 13 points, 4 assists. John Collins with 11 and 9. And he got a block. Tyreek Evans with 10-6. Like to see that assist number get up though a little bit. And then even Burke and Chandler both had really good games. Ilyasova didn't take many shots, but he was still not that great. Shooting only 25%. And now we have this Grizzlies game. But before we do anything else, I would like to uh, edit the um, tendencies for Ersan Elias Sova. So I'm going to do that. And now we are jumping into the game against the Memphis Grizzlies. Tendencies have been lowered for Ersan Elias Sova. So next time we see simulation, hopefully he is not taking around 20 shots. As uh, Trevor Booker pump fakes it. Marcus Saul guarded by DeAndre and doesn't get that one in. And passes it out after the rebound. Evans driving to the basket. Kicks it out to Porter. Wide open and he misses the shot. Good offensive rebound by Schroeder now. DeAndre Aiden with the fade and uh meant to pump fake it there, but uh held the ball held it a little too long, I guess. So now Chandler Parsons with the ball on the Grizzly side. Yogi Ferrell, the point guard. Gasol at the top of the key. Over to Booker. Guarded by Collins. Now over to Parsons. Oh, and that one is blocked. DeAndre Aiden with the nice block. And Tyreek Evans misses that wide open shot. I don't even understand how he misses that one. Porter trying to drive in. And he makes it in for the first points of the game. It's Michael Porter Jr. You can see the stats there. 15.6 a game. 42% shooting. Gasol now with it. Let's see how good DeAndre Aiden can really guard Gasol in this game. As Luka Doncic nails the three-pointer. One of the rookies we could have taken, obviously, but we elected not to. Uh, I really don't regret that decision to this point, at least, as uh, Marcus Gasol plays some nice defense there. Doncic taking it up court, and he is fouled. Tyreek Evans picks up the foul. Luka Doncic trying to... Uh, take this game over early trying to drop five basically before the, uh, the Hawks can even score five points basically I've said that word a lot in the last couple seconds 
As Doncic is going to line up for a couple of three th free throws after hitting a three-pointer on his last possession. So here he goes. First one is up, and it is in. The Hawks are going to have to figure out a way to stop this fast-paced, young shooting dynamo that is Luka Doncic, along with the rest of the team, but uh, he is obviously their best Offensive weapon, I'd say maybe you could call Mark Marcus all, but I, I I don't know about that. I'd say it's Luka Doncic at this point. Schroeder now guarded by Yogi Ferrell. We're gonna call a play, see if it works at all. Probably won't. Evans running around essentially, and still covered by Doncic. We're gonna kick this one out over to Schroeder. And we're just going to have to put one up. Oh, inside. Oh, we don't even get the shot off. He took a little too many too many attempts with that. He should just drive and try to take it. Yeah, uh, two-point shots attempts last year. I'd like to get the three-point shots attempt percentage up more. I think making it about maybe 40% would be a good amount. Get a lot of threes up. The more threes you shoot, the better chance you have of winning, especially if you have some guys who can knock them down, which we do at this moment. Costa can knock down threes. Schroeder's not too bad himself. Evans, Bradley, pretty good three-point shooters. Even off the bench, Ilyasova, Trey Burke. I mean, Bradley's on the bench too, so it's Costa, obviously, but some more guys that really you don't see getting as much time can knock down some threes as well. As Collins puts that one in, to make it a one-point game in favor of Memphis. Luka Dodge is going to take it back down court. Guarded by Tyreek Evans. He kicks it over to Trevor Booker. Guarded by the very coveted John Collins. A lot of teams want to trade for him. Yogi Ferrell trying to drive in. And he kicks it to Marcus Saul. Who can't hit the mid-range jumper. Michael Porter Jr. with the rebound. Over to Schroeder. Thought twice about driving inside. Now he's going to try. No. Kicks it to Evans. Who was pretty well covered by Doncic. Who closed in very nicely there. Just quick, fast. A lot of athleticism from the... Uh, I want to say top five. But I'm not exactly sure if he was top five pick. I'm just going to assume he was though. Because he's on the Grizzlies. Who were pretty bad. Last season. Kicks it over Evans. Mid-range shot. Goes in. And Atlanta leads now by a point. Yogi Ferrell trying to lead this Memphis offense. Kicks it over to Mark Gasol. Over to Doncic. Takes the shot. He can't hit that three-pointer. Collins over to Evans. Just trying to pick for Collins. And Collins loses the ball. Now Doncic with it again. Tyreek Evans guarding. He's not the best defender, but uh, I think he can be, he'll be able to stay with Doncic. I have confidence in that. And if not, we still have Avery Bradley in the back pocket. So Chandler Parsons now trying to drive to the inside. Doncic misses another three. Porter Jr. grabs the rebound. Aiton kicks it over to Schroeder. Doncic one for four on the day, trying to be a hero, essentially. Schroeder. Kicks it over. I, I don't know what was going on there. I accidentally pulled something up, I guess, and it wouldn't let me shoot the ball. Evans knocks it in. Bad possession, but we still get points out of it, so can't complain too much. As Yogi Ferrell is going to call a timeout in favor of Memphis. Try and get the uh, their wits about them as they've been caught off guard a little bit here. Weren't expecting this fight from Atlanta, but these are two of the two of the, at least I'd say... The lower tier teams, at least from last season. I really don't know what this Atlanta Hawks team still is to this point this year. Um, it's still pretty up in the air whether we are going to be a like 5 through 8 seed or if we're going to just get a higher pick. I, I don't know what we're doing at this point. As some of the backups right now. Trey Burke guarding Yogi Ferrell. Machidi in guarding KCP. Trey Burke, I think, has been a very underrated pickup for us this year. He's been very good at the backup point guard position as that one goes in. It is Deontay Davis. Chandler now going to inbound it to Trey Burke, the man of the hour, at least the guy I was talking about. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. After that, we're going to take it to more of a highlight route. Usually, like to show the first quarter and then 
turn it to the highlights for the rest of the game at least or if it gets pretty close down the stretch we'll show the end of the fourth quarter or something like that costa kicks it over to burke and he can't hit it good defense by the grizzlies this kcp drives and Farrell is going to hit the mid-range shot give memphis back the lead so now 26 seconds left we're going to see what burke can do we're going to call a play they don't work for some reason. Like, look at it. We just sit here for, like, a good five seconds. Nothing happens. Literally nothing happens. So, we just decide we got to do something. So, we tried to drive. We took too much time up. And we gave them about four seconds. And Farrell steps back. Can't hit the three-pointer. But Memphis does go in. Eric comes out of the first quarter with the lead. Barely, though, in a very high defensive game. As they lead 9-8. to eight, As we get a sweet picture of Tyreek Evans. And here was a nice block by Tyson Chandler. Dennis Schroeder coming through with the very long 2. And I did not mean for that to rhyme. Here comes Marcus Saul in there. But John Collins is all over it. He gets the nice block. Schroeder with the nice assist now. As Bradley does take the long 2. But it goes in. Now Schroeder. Driving to the basket off of a pick and roll, and I like this one a lot. Shows us finally successfully running some plays. Now Avery Bradley takes a step back to make sure he's behind the three-point line. And he drills that three-pointer. Here's Trey Burke. He gets all the time in the world to set up his three-pointer perfectly, and he drills it. Costa on Luka Doncic to the two rookies. Nice pump fake. The two foreign rookies at that. Machidi. Gets the and one with that bounce there. Here's Costa again. This time being guarded by Contavious Caldwell. Popey takes the Kobe fade with no time left on the shot clock. And it goes in. Schroeder from three. Hits that one pretty nicely. Michael Porter Jr. now with a nice drive to the lane. And he drops it in. I know it didn't show the very end, but it did go in. Trust me. Tyreek Evans with the slam down. Marcus Saul couldn't play the defense. Now we're going to hop back in. 30 seconds left. Atlanta leads by four. It's inbounded to Chandler Parsons, who takes a long three. It doesn't go in. DeAndre Aiden grabs the rebound. He gets fouled with about 24 seconds left. Did not really need to take that three that fast, and he uh, made definitely a mistake. He took it pretty far back. Took it almost from the logo as Dennis Schroeder is going to get fouled. He is going to go to the free throw line to shoot a couple. Try and seal this game for the Atlanta Hawks. First one does go through. 52-47. to 47. It's a five-point game. One more. And it is in. 53-47. 22 seconds left on the clock. The Grizzlies... It's looking dark for them. I don't know if they can come back from this one as the uh, Atlanta Hawks cheerleaders come out to root on the team that might have picked up a pretty good win here and uh, keeps this win streak alive. A surprising win streak from a surprising team. Gasol going to inbound it. It's Parsons again. This time he tries to kick it, and it's stolen away by John Collins. Now Porter Jr. drives, slams it down. With authority, saying these Atlanta Hawks need to be respected this year. This is going to be, I believe, their sixth win in a row. Dennis Schroeder can dribble it out. But just to be a little bit oh, cocky about it, Dennis Schroeder is going to take the three at the last second. It was a long one, and it was a long shot. Didn't go in, but Atlanta does come away with a W over the Memphis Grizzlies. Not exactly the best competition in the league, but you know what? It's a win. And we continue to win as, I mean, we've won a ton of games in a row at this point. So, good win. Dennis Schroeder played pretty well. DeAndre Ayton didn't have the best game, but we'll, we'll go to the stats in a minute. Luka Doncic, just not his night as uh, Tyreek Evans gets interviewed for a moment here. Tyreek Evans... Recently coming back from an injury, he puts up six points, three of eight shooting in twelve minutes. It was uh it was fine. Not too crazy of a game from Tyreek Evans, but uh we all know they don't interview the rookies. I I'd like to hear from uh DeAndre Aiden or Michael Porter Jr. maybe. 
So we will check out the uh, box score real quick. See, Dennis Schroeder put up the highest points, which was only 11. Nine points for Avery Bradley. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. had a really good game, 8, 5, and 3. Tyreek Evans puts up 6. Machete puts up 6, 3, and 2 on 2 of 5 shooting. Trey Burke, 5 points and an assist. Not much time, and he didn't need much time to do it either. John Collins, 4 and 7. DeAndre Ayton had 9 rebounds, 3 assists is where I really like that, but only 1 of 4 shooting, unfortunately. But those 3 assists, that's very, that's very good, especially for the center. Um, if he could develop his playmaking a little bit more like that, even Doug McDermott got a bucket in this game, but Hazonia, we gave him some opportunities, and uh, Mario, Super Mario, couldn't do anything with it. Ilyasova comes away with zero points. Luka Doncic started off okay. He he, uh, he was just very inconsistent throughout the game. He was very hit or miss. Yogi Ferrell got completely shut down. One of eight from the three-point line. Marcus saw one of seven. Only grabbed four rebounds, had two points. Uh, we, we did really well on defense today. I don't know if that was that or if they just shot worse. Now, uh, some interesting things. Drew Holiday and Blake Griffin are both looking, are both being shopped by their current teams. Obviously, Drew Holiday on a very large contract that we can talk about while I accidentally messed up the uh, trying to look into their, you know, player stuff, player information, I guess. But Holiday and Blake Griffin both on pretty big contracts. Holiday getting paid like 20 million. Blake getting about 30 million a year for probably four years because he's on a team option. You're not going to deny deny that, especially at 32, 33 years old. But Blake Griffin to this team, I don't know, man. We could have John Collins come off the bench, um, be our sixth man, and then have Blake just be a our, a dominant scorer for us. He's, I don't think he would get too in the way because he can make some plays he can shoot some threes so he doesn't have to be very ball dominant we don't have to get him the ball if he doesn't really warrant it but the only problem is that is a ton of money for one player we do have the cap space we have about 69 million next season going into next season uh, obviously you see there drew holiday um if we we're gonna do this um it might be time that we move dennis schroeder for perhaps a top pick maybe we maybe we swap picks and uh, if we do make the playoffs, I think we can give up our first rounder, which would probably be around the 20s. And then Dennis Schroeder for perhaps like a top five, top eight pick. Maybe if, if that would only be obviously, of course, if we did get Drew Holiday, because it would kind of make Schroeder redundant at that point. Although Drew Holiday is a bit older than Schroeder, so you got to consider that as well. So that is going to do it. Let me know what you guys think of the potential trades we could make. And thanks everybody so much for watching. As always, make sure you absolutely wreck that like and subscribe button. See you guys all next time. Peace out.